Now there's only one thing really that you need to think about before you start marking out where the holes are going and that's the, where the light's coming from. Uh, on APCD and in the game itself, the light will be coming from the west, so that's left on your APCD. So left to right, this is why if we've got any hills on our terrain, you'll see the shadows are all on the east side because the light's coming from the west. Now, if you're going to build a clubhouse 3D out of terrain, this will have the same effects where anything on the east side will be in shadow. So because you want your clubhouse to look nice and bright uh, as you're coming down the 18th, you don't want to be coming down east to west and the clubhouse on the left side because it's going to be in shadow on the on the side of the clubhouse facing the course. It's going to be really dark and dull and not look at all good in links. So you really need to build your clubhouse on the right side of the plot so that the sunlight hits it and it looks at its best. If you're using stock APCD buildings as a clubhouse, you don't have to worry about this because they're unaffected by the lighting. If you're using a 2D image of your clubhouse, again, it's not a problem. It will be lit okay. It won't be affected by the light. Uh, now, obviously, if you're working from a dem of a real course, you've got your terrain in and the clubhouse is where the clubhouse is. If it happens to be on the left side, uh, there's not a lot you can do. So what you do have to do is rotate the whole plot around. Uh, now, this is something that you really can't do once you've started adding things to the terrain, because although you can rotate things individually, shapes, uh, verts, planting, etc. There's no command in APCD that lets you select everything and rotate it all at the same time. So it's an absolute nightmare if you uh, decide you need to move your plot after you've started uh, work on it. So it's a simple uh, process to rotate. What we need to do is go to terrain and to verts and we can just box select the whole lot or select all at the top of the screen. It doesn't really matter. So I'll drag and select those. And we want to rotate. Now I haven't shown rotate verts yet. Uh, and so I'm going to now. One of the reasons I didn't bring it up before is because it's one of those issues where you do need to set the X, Y to the opposite of what you normally use. So we need this to be on the Z axis. Uh, so right click, choose Z axis, and now we can rotate our plot by hovering over any of the points and just dragging it left and right. Rotate it to the angle we want for the correct lighting. It doesn't matter if it's askew, it's not a problem. Position it where you want it, let go, and your plot has rotated round, and then the lighting should be correct. You'll see we're still getting shadows down the east side of the hills. Just remember, as soon as you're finished, put it back to XY.